Hey everybody, Fender Bender and Alara here from Vader's Vault, showcasing our latest custom saber out of the vault. This one is called Algor Equitas, or Cold Justice, made for Kick Me Quick on the FX Sabres forum. Uh, he had seen our previous work, Aggressive Negotiations, that we made several months back, and uh, kind of wanted an updated version of that. Um, that was one of my favorite designs personally, so of course I would jumped at the, the chance to kind of revisit that design, especially with the new materials and uh, tooling and techniques that we've learned since then. Um, so I was able to take that design and make it kind of more along the lines of what my mind's eye saw originally. Uh, as you can see, it is very similar in the overall shape and profile, very sleek. Uh, weapon look to the overlays, the uh, matching fore and aft uh, shrouds, the <clears throat> you know uh, side slots that also mimic on the top, uh, the, just the very overall sleek look of the saber, uh, the black and silver color scheme. What's different this time is that instead of the thin uh, powder coated brass tubing that we used before. Uh, we were able to find the thicker, more substantial uh, aluminum material to fit over the hilt uh, that actually wasn't real fat, but you know, still gives you a nice, uh, nice gripping material and it gives you a, a better topography than the thin brass tubing does. Um, so it also makes for a crisper machined line when you when I want to make uh, you know these nice matching designs. And those are going over the black, flat black powder coating on the main hilt with the machine grooves showing through just like the original. And instead of the guarded switch that we used before, of course lately we've been able to uh, countersink and mount flush the lighted anti-vandal switches. So we've got that one set in there into a nice um, crown on the emitter shroud, on the uh, forward shroud here. Got the open choke grip here, nice place for the hand to fit right into, you know, gives a nice look to the bottom. On the top slot, he also liked the windows that we used on emitters past, like in the Dawn's Edge or the Violet Venturi, um, so he wanted the blade color to show through some windows, so we decided to do some venting on the emitter in this middle slot, and then like the original, it's got three blinking LEDs for accents that are mounted here in the upper hilt. Um, shining through the, the slit. So, main specs, this is a blue saber powered by a lead engine 5 watt blue. Uh, run at 1500 milliamps from the US 2.5, the ultrasound 2.5 board uh, running off a 4.8 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack permanently installed in the saber with the uh, recharge port threaded into the bottom of the hilt here. Um, Another thing that we've been doing recently is threading them directly into the hilt. Makes for a very nice streamlined look. Black anodized cover tech wheel on the bottom, making the only protrusion on the hilt. Otherwise a very sleek design. Well, let's get it powered on. As you can see, very bright, especially on the vandal switch. Up there. Let's get it in the dark. Very bright, especially on the windows coming through and the accents and the switch. Everything flows together really well. well hopefully, Sam or Kick Me Quick. Loves it as much as I do. It's one of my favorite designs, and I really liked having the chance to go back and give it the treatment that I thought that the design deserved with my newfound techniques and machines. Thanks again from the vault. See you later. <laughs>